Okay, so we have got Connor here, superstar in the making, team bodybuilder. So guys. Uh, crazily enough, I'm not his brother. We do look similar, both very handsome. We get that a lot. Uh, so Connor's only 19, I'm 29, which is terrifying in itself. So we've had a lot of demand to have a Q&A to ask Connor a lot of questions. We put this obviously up to our Instagram, see what people thought, what they wanted to know. So we're gonna run through a few questions with Connor. Um, first of all, what shows are you doing? Okay, so the first show I'm going to be doing is the Body Power Show. Um, I believe it's a UK up show. And then after that, a few weeks after, I'm doing the UK DFBA show. Um, the one in rugby. I think it's called the USN Classic. And then my final show. The final show that's planned at the moment is going to be a junior bodybuilding show with the UK DFBA as well in Scotland. So that's cool. my plan for shows. He's got to run through what he's planning to do. So. Uh, question number one, hardest prep of, uh, hardest part of prep so far? Okay, so the hardest part of prep so far, apart from being a little bit hungry at times, would have to be like balancing it with social events, family events, um, just preventing myself from going into a relatively... Being a recluse. Yeah, being... The thing is, bodybuilding can be a relatively selfish sport if you let it if you let it become um, a selfish sport, essentially. So I need to. I'd say the hardest thing is just balancing it with other elements of, of life. So it's very easy to just, you know, focus on the routine and focusing on training and the diet and the cardio, but it's important. It's important to have like other elements of your life involved. And in the past, I've been very guilty of just, as you said, just like focusing on myself and I just need to make sure that I've, I'm balancing other ele elements of my life with um, the whole process so I'd say balancing it I with think, life. I uh, think something I've noted you've done which is really good is you, <clears throat> everyone who's close to you is aware of you is fully supportive of what you do yeah. particularly your family or parents which is really yeah. nice to see because it's not something that you see a lot of sometimes so that's pretty awesome and makes the whole process a little bit easier so that's all good. Um, Next question up, what's your long-term goal? In terms of long-term goal, it would definitely be um, a natural pro card for me, so getting a pro card. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep that in. Yeah, we'll keep that in. I don't know if I could use a torch with Oh, for fuck's sake. Put it in the flow. <laughs> we'll put, put that in the outtakes. So take two, because the lights went out, don't ask why. I can't even remember what question we were into now, so let's keep going. So, uh, long-term goal, sorry, so there we go. Yeah, so long-term goal, I'd say, um, in terms of like physique goals, it would definitely be um, obtaining a natural pro card. So that would be with the WMBF. Um, also involved with that, just winning a British title would be awesome. Um, so in terms of more short to medium-term goal, it would definitely be, um, well, firstly, I'm gonna aim to, to to just get this phase over in terms of competing and doing my best in terms of competing. But long-term goal in terms of dreams would definitely be um, obtaining a natural pro card. Um, in terms of in terms of business and other aspects of my life, just one one of my dreams would be to have my own gym. Um, there's things in the pipeline in terms of um, clothing companies, etc. What's the clothing company um, you're working on called? It's called Endorphin. Blog. It's called Endorphin. Um, essentially, our strap line is active wear for the natural high. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got lots of stuff in the pipeline in terms of uh, future plans, but yeah, that's the long-term goal for the moment. Exciting stuff. Um, next question up, what have you enjoyed the most about prep so far? Um, Probably the results in terms of look at it. Yeah, the thing is with competition <laughs> prep and dieting and cutting, whatever you want to call it, the results are they come a lot faster in terms of you see changes every, even possibly every day, every other day. Um, and you know that's why it's so important to document pro, uh, this process for me and for you guys. If you're if you're in a phase like this, make sure you just document it because you can then compare photos or videos or you can analyze what works and what didn't work and yeah um so yeah i'd say i'd say the funniest thing is just seeing seeing results you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie there's been some very difficult times and just prep is a up and down process in terms of emotion but you know 
when it is difficult it means it's working and when you know when those tough times pass and especially you know when you're up post session when you know we take your top off and you look at how you're looking in terms of your physique like post post session for example um, you know when the carbs go in around your training window and I'm feeling pumped and I'm feeling full that's you know that's when those hard times pay off so I'd say definitely the results are short term results. It's a funny thing, I don't know if you agree, but I always find as well, the day when I feel my worst, the next day I look my best. Yeah, totally. When you, like, when yeah. you feel shit, the next day you see like big progress. Yeah, so definitely. And when you almost get psychologically used to that, you think like, okay, I look crap today, but tomorrow I look awesome. So, totally. Just got to man up and get on with it sometimes. Um, what's the favorite food in your, your favorite food in your diet at the moment? <sighs> favorite food, it's a tough one. Um, I do like a rice cake. Um, <laughs> that worst answer ever. Rice cake, a chocolate rice cake is pretty good. Or um, oats. We were we were laughing earlier about my 150 grams of oats post workout. How anyone digests that, I don't know. Cause it's, yeah, it's I mean to be boring. honest, yeah, it'd probably have to be oats. Um, that might sound boring to some people, but I put oats with like sugar-free syrup, um, some berries in there. Hershey's chocolate. Yeah, sugar -free. Hershey's sugar-free chocolate Copy syrup. <laughs> Yeah, top tip. Um, <laughs> but yeah, probably yeah, probably oats. I'd have to say oats in terms of satiety. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, in terms of making myself feel full, it's a very good um, food source. And in terms of things strictly in my diet plan, um, in my meal plan, it would have to be oats. But you know, I can like like today, I've got a refeed on Fridays and Saturdays, so I can fit things in. Like we just went for a Nando's, so I can uh, fit things in like that. Um, Chips chips um yeah so i'd say i'd say oats for that good answer uh what do you do for cardio currently in terms of cardio well but i began prep at five sessions a week for um five sessions of 30 minutes i was doing that faster in the morning um either on the cross trainer i know charlie likes the cross trainer um sometimes i do the stepper if there's a stepper in, in the gym because I'm up and down from Oxford because I go to uni at Oxford Brooks. So sometimes I'm down in Surrey, which is where I live, or in Oxford, and they have different cardio equipment, so I have to adapt to that. Um, so yeah, currently it's four times a week of 30 minutes. That's less, so low low intensity steady state cardio. Um, You've also got a step count. You're trying to do and then daily. a step count of 15,000. Just quite a lot. So you go quite for a lot. So you go for a walk every day. Yeah, a day. walk. I usually, in order to get 15,000 in, I have to do around an hour walk in the morning and then about half half an hour to 45 minute walk at night and then the rest of the step count is sort of accumulated just through day-to-day -day activities. Cool. Uh, next question up, how do you prep your food in advance? How do you structure that? Okay, so I'm um, in a very fortunate position where um, Essentially, I'm, I'm either at uni most of the time or I'm at home most of the time. Um, so I'm always around a kitchen usually. But for example, coming coming up to Nottingham, doing trips like this, weekends away. In terms of food preparation, you just you, you, the clues in the name. You just need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, don't you know? Don't leave it till the morning of or or the just really late because it's just going to stress you out. Prep and just general fitness food preparation can be a slightly stressful process if you let it become that but as long as you're time management some point you're consistent with it and you just get a good routine in structure uh, structure um, you know but that's what I'd suggest in terms of meal prep but essentially obviously I have Tupperware containers I cook most of my protein sources carb sources are relatively easy just with Oats. Um, you know, if you're in a hotel room, you don't really, you know, don't particularly need a microwave. Um, you can just add hot water. Just laughing there because sometimes you won't have a fridge. So yeah, we just had this debacle. Has anyone seen our Instagram stories? We've currently got about four containers of chicken in ice sitting in the uh, in the sink. So we're gonna be brushing our teeth in the bath. Yeah, you've just but added to that, you've just got to be smart with it, and you know. Me, it's a solution to everything. Yeah, me, Charlie, and Mike were saying that. You know, it's quite satisfying when you have all your meals prepared and you know, you know, you've got everything in your bag ready to go. Um, you're sort of ready for any situation. Um, 
but you know you just with you just got to be smart of it be prepared um in terms of protein sources obviously whey protein like shakes pretty easy to get in protein bars you just got to be careful with sort of sugar and carb um it's a lot of crap in those yeah, stores, it's flare up gut sometimes digestively I find. And then, you know, you've got pre-cooked chicken, um, obviously that's going to have quite a relatively high sodium, but you've just got to be a bit careful with that, but pump. yeah, just, just be careful with it and be prepared. Uh, next question up, which is one I was curious of, is what's your current breakfast? Because this is a, a meal a lot of people are always interested to see what people have for breakfast. breakfast. Um, at the beginning of prep, it was two eggs and ground uh, beef, so like 5% lean uh, mince. Simplified. But now I've changed to... How much ground mince have you had? 150 grams. Okay. Um, but How did you find having meat for breakfast? Because some people find that a bit weird. It was the first time I ever had... Uh, did you find it used to after a week or so? Yeah. yeah. It was the first time I ever had uh, meat for breakfast, other than like bacon or things like that. Um, yeah, it was, it's a bit of a shock to the system having chicken or beef for breakfast. Um, but it's just one of those things you just need to do it. But currently, <clears throat> I've been liking turkey bacon, relatively low, well, very low fat, um, high protein. Um, <clears throat> and then egg whites as well. Egg whites are very good in terms of volume. Um, and then just putting some just general veg in there. Um, sort of making an egg white omelette uh, with the turkey bacon. So yeah, that's currently my breakfast. Cool, good show. And uh, lastly, what are you most excited about for the future? In terms of the future, um, just seeing where I can take my physique. For currently in terms of, you know, a few months down the line in terms of the future, that way I'd say, just seeing how my first competition sort of competitive season goes. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go. I'm, I'm giving it my all. Um, you know, fitness, bodybuilding, the gym, whatever you want to call it, is my absolute passion. So, I'm very excited to see um, see this hard work pay off. Hopefully, so yeah. Just um, I just want to see how my first competitive season goes. Essentially, so I'm excited for you to see how it goes. Uh, if you guys don't already follow Connor, his Instagram and YouTube details are below. Uh, comment below what you think of the video if you want to know any more. Any other questions for Connor, and we'll do another video as well. And hopefully, we'll be documenting lots more of your journey that's coming. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out. Cheers.